This video will teach you how to use Screencastify. Screencastify is a screencasting software that uses Google Chrome. So make sure you're using the Google Chrome web browser and you're logged in. If you're not logged in, you'll notice a picture of a person up here. And if you notice your picture or your initial and you click up on the circle, you'll notice you are logged in. If you're not logged in, it will prompt you to log in. Once you're logged in and you navigate to screencastify.com, it will prompt you to install the Chrome extension, which I have already installed. I'll notice my Chrome extension in the top right hand corner. When I click on it, I'll get three options. Browser tab will just record this tab. So if I open any other tabs at the top, it will not record it. If I click on desktop, it will record my entire desktop. Keep in mind, that if you open your email or anything else, it will also record that. So please make sure you close out of anything that you don't want in your recording. The other option is webcam only. With webcam only, it will only be your face or your webcam that records. I like to use the desktop one because I tend to show a lot of things and I want to make sure that everything I'm doing is recorded. And again, I just make sure I close out of anything I don't want. You do have the option to embed the webcam if you would like to. Sometimes you wish, may wish to do this and other times you may think it's distracting. So that would be your entire screen as well as your face in the corner. You don't need to have that, that's a choice. Um, when you're ready, you'll click on record. I'll click on my screen and click share. After the countdown, everything I do is being recorded. You'll notice I have tools at the bottom. Pen allows me to draw. I'll go back. And notice I'm just going to click on a different tab. So let's say this was a presentation. So I'm going to go into present mode. I'm going to go through my presentation. Everything I do is being recorded. And if I would like to, I could bring up my pen and underline important things. Um, and you could clear your ink if you'd like and you could change the color. I'm going to go back. You also have shapes and stickers and the eraser and you can be, start recording your webcam at any point so maybe for part of it you want your pic, your face in there and other parts you don't. Um, I'm going to click escape. When I'm all done recording I could either press stop from down here or I could click on the Chrome extension again and press stop. Notice there's also a pause button so you can pause halfway through collect your new items you want to share, get them up, and then resume the recording. When you're all done, you'll click stop and a new tab will open where you'll preview your video and see if you like it. You can, you can trim it so you can trim the beginning or end if you didn't like it. And some other things you can do is give it a name by clicking on the top left and give it a title. I'm just going to call this title. Um, and then if you didn't like it, you could click delete. It's very, it's very important to give it a title because they save in your Google Drive and you want to make sure that they all have a title so you know which video is which. You can copy the shareable link to your video and you can post it in Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or anywhere else you might want your students to access it. You can also um, share it to one of these if you have your own YouTube channel, you can automatically share it there. You can download it um, in any of these formats and upload it wherever you'd like. There, Screencastify also does have a built-in video editor, which is pretty cool. Um, you can add text over your videos. You can crop them. You can cut them. You can zoom in on them, blur them. I said add text before. You could add another clip from a different one so you can merge two videos together. So it's a nice little built-in video editing tool for you to use right inside of free Screencastify for free. Again, you only get these free options for up to five minutes and after that you have to pay. So I like Screencastify because it saves into my Google Drive. So here's my Google Drive. It creates a folder for me called Screencastify and you'll see all of my screencasts here. And again, you'll you notice the one that says untitled because I didn't give it a name. When you start to have a huge collection, that will be super helpful for you to, to give them all names. And when and that's it. That's how you use Screencastify.